Hello everyone and Merry Christmas. I just wanted to give you guys a brief video and when I say brief, it's never brief. I apologize. I wanted to give you guys a video saying Merry Christmas and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day celebrating with friends and family. I also wanted to shout out one of my favorite YouTube channels. His name is Bill Cameron and his YouTube channel is Edge of Eternity and I'll link it below. He has a wonderful Christmas sermon that I think you guys would enjoy. So I also wanted to say make sure not to forget about the most important reason that we celebrate Christmas and that is the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He was born in a manger to a virgin which would fulfill certain prophecies in the Old Testament. He would grow up to be a miracle worker and resurrected the dead which actually is a precursor to his resurrection. He was Yahweh incarnate. He was the God of the Old Testament who time and time again continued to make covenants with his people only to be rejected by them but still continue in his long suffering and his kindness or what they call Yahweh's Hesed which is his loving kindness. Yahweh made a new covenant with his people with all of us, that he would send his only son down to earth to be clothed in human flesh and to die a horrible death on a cross, but after three days to be raised again. That was his sign. He is God incarnate and that we should just believe on his name and we can be saved and we can have life more abundantly and everlasting life. It's the story of all stories, this masterpiece. And so I wanted to read you some quotes from C.S. Lewis. This one, Miracles, is so good. Okay, wait, let me find a place. Please excuse Open some presents while you wait. C.S. Lewis says that our species rising after its long descent will drag all nature up with it because in our species the Lord of nature is now included. This new covenant is going to pave the way for all of nature to be rebirthed and remade when Jesus comes again because he promised to come again. He also says the greater the sin the greater the mercy the deeper the death the brighter the rebirth and this super added glory will with true vicariousness exalt all creatures and those who have never fallen will thus bless Adam's fall. Through Jesus we all will have this wonderful death and this beautiful rebirth and normally death is seen as a bad thing but God has a way of making what we deem horrible to actually be a mysteriously beautiful thing because he knows that after death there is a rebirth in Christ because God came down and he was our species. He was human kind. He was flesh of our flesh and bone of our bone. That even the angels will bless Adam's fall because only through our fall did God come down and redeem us. We are the redeemed if we believe on his name. So Jesus is the only person in history who resurrected from the dead. And as a Christian, that seems like language that I've grown up with and I kind of take it for granted. But for the unbeliever, I would say say research it because this resurrection from the dead is quite terrifying. We have yet to produce a body and the case for Christ is a wonderful book. If you want cold hard facts, there were more than 500 people that saw him and ate with him after his death. Now of course there is the hallucination theory which says that those 500 people were all under the same hallucination. But I would implore you to ask yourself if that's really how hallucinations work. This has turned out to be not a brief video. There is no body. The tomb was empty and people saw him and ate with him. Over 500 people attest to the fact that they saw him and some of them even touched his hands and his wounds. So I would implore you to research this Jesus guy and see if the evidence shakes out. If it does, then that means that he was Yahweh incarnate. Somebody who dies and then is resurrected and then people say that they've seen him, that's kind of terrifying. So on that terrifying note, have a wonderful Christmas. <laughs> this Christmas video did not turn out as I planned. I hope you guys have pondered upon this Jesus guy this Christmas. I hope you enjoyed this video to a certain extent. Later.